this is Jim Leverich. Um, been working with No-Till Farmer for years and uh, we're out here today videoing uh, some custom planting that I'm doing for a neighbor. And um, we have, uh, we are on some sandy loam soils here today and um, we have about uh, 500 acres of corn that we've planted now and we're using a 1245 Case IH planter. Uh, we've had this planter for about seven years. Um, it uses a little bit different style of opener than some of the other planters, which we like in no-till because it gets a little less sidewall compaction. Um, we do have fertilizer on the planter, a, the ability to apply in-furl uh, pop-up fertilizer, and then also we apply a two by zero uh, type of fertilizer, mostly nitrogen and sulfur out the back of the planter in clean dirt. We also use uh, row cleaners, uh, shark tooth row cleaners. We use guidance on the tractor, which probably is one of the most important things that we have is RTK guidance because it allows us in our 20 inch rows to plant in the middle of the previous year's pass so that the residue easily goes through the planter. Otherwise we would have difficulty. Um, so we also make sure when we're combining to leave as much stock standing as possible when we're in corn stalks and that way those stalks actually carry the material through the corn planter. Um, we have nothing special on the back of this planter for a closing system. We use the case uh, packer wheel. Some farms would use a, uh, instead of using just the standard closing disc, would have uh, spike closing discs. But we've been no-tilling so long that um, our soils are quite mellow. So even these sandy soils are easy to close, but if you go a mile and a half from here on our prairie, which is heavier silt loams and clay loams, uh, closing could be more difficult, but we don't have too much trouble with that because uh, our soils are quite mellowed out from being a no-till so long. Generally speaking, we apply our dry fertilizers uh, about two weeks ahead of planting with variable rate. Uh, we put on most of our phosphorus and potassium that way and some sulfur. And then we come in and we apply anhydrous ammonia for the majority of our nitrogen. Uh, then we apply the rest of the nitrogen on the planter and through the broadcast fertilizer. Uh, when we're applying the anhydrous ammonia, we use uh, RTK steering. We apply the ammonia in 40 inch bands. Then we come back and we plant 20 inch rows around those bands. And that's why we use the RTK steering, which allows us to be under an inch accuracy. So that way we never really worry about getting on the ammonia band with the corn planter and uh, having any stand losses due to uh, that ammonia gas. So um, our ammonia is applied with a mini mole knife, which is very, doesn't have a lot of disruption. And then we use a small closing system on the back of the bar that basically doesn't do any tillage at all. It basically catches the soil that's being kind of thrown off to the side by the knife and directs it back over the top of the seam to make sure the nitrogen bar seals. So I guess that would be most of our fertility program with this planter. We use uh, variable rate um, planting prescriptions on some of the land and other some of the farms we just use a fixed rate uh, depending on how variable the moisture water holding capacity of the soils are.